a thought on why Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father and why I never thought it made sense that he would be Lord to the glory of another person because he brought glory to God. Who was he? He was the Word made flesh. And he did something even he did not want to do. He was God. God did what God did not want to do. God obeyed his own Word. That is glorious. That is amazing. God subjected himself to his own word, to his own word. It was not some emotional, uh, subjective, oh, I just love them so much, I'm just going to die for them. No, it was, I said I was going to do this, and I'm doing it. And I don't even completely want to do it. And that is glorious. That is amazing that God would manifest as a man and obey his own word, even when he did not want to, even when that man that he became said, let this come pass for me. Nevertheless, nevertheless, thy will be done. Thy will be done. That's what shows the fullness of God in Christ. God does things after the counsel of his own will. He, he has a conscience, which in the Greek, one of the definitions of a conscience is to co-perceive that means he looks at something and he considers it he looks at both sides of it but he always comes to the perfect conclusion even though he may desire another conclusion god himself when he was a human desired this conclusion but he chose that one because his word demanded it and that is glorious and that is why that man became Lord. That is why that man is God in the highest, in the fullest. That God subjected himself to his own word. So we see in the scripture where it says in Philippians chapter 2, it's referring to in 10 and 11, it's a harmony with Isaiah 45 and 23. Go back a little bit to 21 through 23. But culminating in 23 where he says, God says, I have sworn by myself. I have sworn by myself. How does one swear by oneself? Because he has that co-perception. He is considering and he is making a choice. He is, he's not two people. He's simply making a choice between two choices. And that is glorious because of the choice he was presented with and he made. He said, I have sworn by myself, by the word. That's himself. The word is gone out of myself in righteousness and it shall not return. I take that to mean like in Isaiah 55, 11, where it says, it shall not return to me void. It shall not return without accomplishing that which I please. That's what it says in that scripture that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Unto me, the Lord said. So Philippians says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That is simply identifying who he is. Jesus Christ is the Father. Jesus Christ is the one and only God. That is the glory of God the Father because the glory is in that choice. It's in the fact that God decided to become a man and to save the people that he loves. He loves us. And he did it because only he could do it. And no one else could do it. We couldn't do it ourselves. We are not partners in this. He did it knowing that many of us, if not most of us, would reject him. Even though he did everything necessary to save us. That is glorious. That our God would do that by choice. That is how amazing our God is. That is how amazing his love is for us. He did it. He did it all. He became the man, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord, the one God of all, of heaven and earth. In Jesus' name.